fear, anxiety, panic attack, chaos, lots of emotions going through your mind right now. Am I going to be successful? What is going to happen to my business? What am I going to do? What is next? I, 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 I. Yes, I know. We are all going through the same thing. And what happened is that all of us want reassurance. Assurance. We want some assurance of what is going on. Will our business be successful? Everything is going to work out. You know, before all of this craziness, I was doing well. Before all this craziness, I was looking for a job. Before all this craziness, I had plans. I have goals. I had dreams. I have so many things that I wanted to do. And what now? First, it was the C19. And now, with all the riots and all the protests and all the racism going on and all everybody's going crazy what am i going to do now what am i going to do and you know what i'm getting that message from many people so if you contacted me you are not alone many people are going through the same thing experiencing the same thing and that is normal because is the way that our mechanism work we are used to having control of our life. We are used to having goals and dreams. And we are used to being a world that everything has to do with success. And our emotions, our thoughts, who we are, are connected to that success. And that's what the problem is. Is that our reassurance is connected to our success. And that's what I want to talk a little bit more about this topic today. Because... Um, many people have been contact contacted me. A lot of people are having financial challenges. A lot of people don't know what to do. I don't care if you're black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, whatever you are. I have been in contact with many of you guys and um, I know things are challenging. And because many of you guys cannot afford um, certain things right now, I decided to go ahead and make this video to help you understand um, a little bit more about what is going on. And to begin, I want to explain to you that assurance, it is really just feeling like we are in control of our life and feeling safe. Assurance is simply, you know, like certainty is wanting or desiring to have control of our life and feeling safe. That is something that most of us had before all of this happened. We, are, we were certain that we were gonna achieve this goal. We were certain that in 2021 and 2022, we was gonna go here, we was gonna do this. We, were, we had everything planned out, but that is part of success. Success come with the ability to be able to have a plan B and a plan C. And when things them don't work out exactly the way we want to, we have to separate who we are from what we wanted. And that's where we have a hard time. And don't get me wrong, I'm not the expert of doing all of this. I am sharing it with you because it had happened to me too. I am sharing things them that I am learning, things them that I am using myself in order to get out of the dark box that we have all been into. Um, right now, um, I've been getting a lot of messages on Instagram um, from people asking me for help for my coaching. And, um, and it's, it's very challenging to to see so many people hurting with everything that's going on. It's very challenging to see that. And I, one thing that I wanna make clear before I end this video is that you can overcome those challenges. You can be successful. You can achieve the things in that you want in spite of the chaos and all of this that's happening. And I will explain that a little bit more. But one thing that I want you to understand is that doesn't matter if you're struggling financially, emotionally, spiritually, whatever it is that you are struggling with, you can overcome it. You can overcome it. And I want to emphasize that you can overcome it. You have to understand that the fear that you have inside of you 
is a fear that most people are experiencing, but the people that have not been able to succeed in overcoming that fear is the people that have just decided, I cannot do anything. I lost this battle. I am doomed. There, there is nothing I can do about it. And that's what I want to tell you. There is things that you can do about it. Starting with your thinking, starting with separating who you are from what you do, separating who you are from how much money you have in your bank account, separating who you are from what people think of you. That is the way that you are going to start to succeed. Because if you continue to fear, fear your finances, the chaos, and everything that is going on, you are going to have a panic attack. You are going to destroy yourself emotionally and spiritually, and your financial situation is going to get even worse. So let's talk more about this. And, and the thing is that we all want to survive this. It doesn't matter what color you are, because right now the topic is about color, racism. And it doesn't matter what color you are, you can overcome these challenging times. Yes, you are able to overcome these challenging times. And I understand that right now, um, yesterday I saw the stock market drop even more. Everything, the economy is fragile. Um, they're coming up with all kinds of stuff right now. Every, everybody is going through that struggle right now. Everybody across the world. Not only United States, this is across the world. And I want you to understand that this does not make you a failure. What is happening does not mean that you have failed. What is happening means that you need to rethink the things that you wanted to do. Rethink the things that you had planned, revise your goals, and uh, you know, kind of understand what is it that you want to do next with what you have. Not what you had, but what you have. And a lot of us are really been thinking of everything that we had. I had this, I was this, I wanted to do this, and those things might not be the same right now. Therefore, we need to manage the way we are thinking about things. We need to transform the way that we are thinking, retransform it. Because if we have the old thinking, we are not going to be able to move forward. If we focus on the old skills, we are not going to be able to move forward. If we focus on what people think about us, we will not be able to move forward. Anybody. If you have a job right now, there's no guarantee you're going to keep it. I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm trying to help you understand that those things should not be what were your assurances. Your assurance need to come from who you are, what your strengths are, and what you can do to overcome the challenges that you're facing right now. That's where your strength need to come from. Because if you have a strength that said, no matter what happened, no matter how many times I fall, I can't get up, then you will get up. Doesn't matter how much dust, how much mud, how much water, how much garbage, everything drops on you, you will be able to get out of whatever situation you are in because you got what it takes. Don't give everything that's going on and what people think of you, don't give them the power. Don't give your situation the power. Don't give your circumstances the power. You have the power. You have the power to do what you want to do when you want to do it with some limitations right now, but you still have that power. And I'm not going to make this religious. I do usually speak more on the religious side of things, but right now I want to talk to everybody and let you understand that each one of us, each one of us have what it takes to overcome this. So we have to stop trying to avoid pain. 
We have to stop trying to avoid suffering. We have to stop. You know, I have tried to avoid pain, but one of the things is I have a lot of problems with my body, my knee, my back, all of that. And just because I have been trying to avoid pain in my body, I have not been doing anything. I have not done the exercise. I have not done movement because I feel that if I actually, you know, uh, you know, do some exercise, my knees is going to hurt more. If, if I do this, my back is going to hurt more. If I, if I read more, my I'm going to get headaches. If whatever I was doing, I was getting more pain and I kept making myself suffer because I constantly continue to think about the pain that everything would cost me if I did it. You understand what I'm saying? If we think about the pain of taking action, we are going to go through suffering because we are only going to experience pain and pain and pain and pain and a group of pain equals suffering. Suffering is a choice. Pain is an action. Why am I saying that? It's because suffering is something that you decide if you want to continue to have it. Pain is something that you are going to have if you decide to take action. Yes. With every goal, there is a pain. There's something that you have to do in order to achieve that goal. With every goal, there is a pain. There is a pain that if I risk this, I might make a mistake and then it might not be what I want. That's a little painful to think about, but it's something that we must do in order to get the things in that we want. I have been having such a challenging time with everything that's going on and thinking I am used to doing this and I'm used to doing that and I'm used to doing that. Right now, I am doing things that I'm not used to doing and I did not want to do in order to get the things in that I want. Yes, and I am not talking about selling my body or anything like that. No, that is the extreme. Get your mind out of the gutter. I am simply saying, that right now is not going to be very comfortable. But success has never been comfortable. Achieving your goal has never been comfortable. And right now, if you thought that by 2025, you were gonna have this and that, now maybe it might not be by 2025. Maybe you have to get some a little more steps included in the process and maybe you have to implement some shorter goals in order to achieve the greater goals. It doesn't mean that you're not going to get there. It means that it might take a little more strategy in order for you to get there. It might take a little more thinking. It might take a little longer process. It might take a little more work. And that's what most of us are afraid of is work. We are afraid because we were so used to doing things in a certain way and we have came up with a mold that said, this work, I finally got what I wanted. I am being successful. And then things change and now the mold no longer works. We got to revise the mold and it's possible. It's going to take some work, but it's possible. But with all of that, what I want to say to you is that understanding that a coach, I am a life coach, a coach, can help you achieve your goals by helping you understand your strength, your weaknesses, by getting you to change your mindset, but they cannot achieve the goals for you. They cannot make decisions for you. They cannot tell you what to do because if a coach tells you what to do, then they become your employer. Let me repeat that again. 
if a coach, life coach, business coach, whatever mentor tells you what to do, they become your boss, your employer. And if we want to have a entrepreneurial thinking, we want to have an independent thinking, coaches and mentors are there only to challenge your thinking, to help you pull the information that you have not been able to pull because there's so much clutter, clutter around you that is not allowing you to come up with some actions, action plan. That's what we are there for. It's not to tell you what to do. Any coach, any mentor that is telling you what to do is not helping you to become empowered. It's not helping you to learn to fish, but it's fishing for you. And when they get out of your life, you will not know how to fish. So my goal with this video is to help you understand that you are a fisher. You can fish for yourself but you have to make modifications to the way that you think in order to get the great catch. Repeat, in order to catch the big fish. And right now, with the rethinking, with everything that's going on, the way that you used to fish before might not be working. So now you have to think of what is going to be the new strategy? What bait am I going to use in order to get that fish? Do I want a shrimp? Do I want a salmon? Do What do I want? And in order for you to be able to get a salmon versus a shrimp, there's different baits. I am not a fisher. My husband is. So I understand that there are different baits. There's worms and there's fishes and there's not. I don't like fishing. Not for me. But the world that we live in, it's like a fisherman's world. If you don't understand what bait you need and what bait you need to, how you can get it and what thinking that you need to have in order to get what you want, you are going to continue to panic and suffer and suffer. That's what is going to happen. And right now, I don't want you to do that. I know what it is to feel a panic attack and let me tell you it does not feel any good it is horrible i almost felt like i was dying like i was actually experiencing a heart attack because of having a panic attack Woof! i don't wish it on anybody on anybody and one thing that i had to understand is that um i cannot be afraid to take actions I cannot be afraid to fail. I cannot be afraid to make a move because I might feel that something is not going to happen the way I want to. If it doesn't happen, just like I have told people before, you learn from your mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. We just have to keep trying something different. That's what we have to keep trying. And um, if you are afraid of taking actions toward the changes, no one can force you to take action. I actually am reading that that I wrote because I wanted you to actually get it because once I start talking, I'm like all over the place. So I wanted you to understand that. And another thing that I wrote here is that if you want to succeed, you must be willing to take a risk and the willingness to make mistakes. If you want to succeed, you must be willing to take a risk and the willingness to make mistakes. And right now, none of us want to make mistakes, but it's going to come because we are relearning everything again. Whatever this C-19 did and whatever the protests and the riots around the world, not only the United States, is, is, um, is doing, we are going to have to make modifications to the way that we were doing things before. All of us, all of us. It doesn't matter what political part, um, side of the spectrum you are, we are all going to have to make some changes in order to succeed. So you think you have a job now and you don't have to worry about that? Be careful. My friend, 
her son called her and said, I got let go from my job. It can happen to any of us. But guess what? You are not your job. You are not your bank account. You are not what people think you are. You are who you determine that you are. And that's what I want to make that emphasis today. So I want to emphasize that you need to separate who you are from what you do. I know, I know, I know. It sounds crazy. It took me a while to be able to actually think of that, but it's true. You are not what you do. You are not your bank account. You are not your job. And you are not what people think that you are. Oh, my nose. What am I saying here? We need to separate that because a lot of us think, oh my God, I have failed, I have achieved all of this and now I am losing it because of everything that's happening. Take away that thinking. How can you stall that? What can you do? What are you willing to do in order to stall the, the drop? What can you do in order to push yourself back up? What can you do? What actions are you willing to take? But remember that if you are not emotionally healthy, if this is not emotionally healthy, you're going to keep falling. It's going to be free fall. Let me um, pause my phone. It's going to be a free fall. And the more you're thinking is saying, I don't know what to do. I cannot do this. I'm going to fail. Nothing is working. It's bam, 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 fall, 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 fall. Until you are mentally destroyed, physically destroyed, emotionally destroyed, and spiritually destroyed. You can't let it happen. Separate it. Who are you? What do you stand for? What do you love? Are you happy with the people that are in your life that are valuable? Are you happy with how far you have become? Forget about what you lost right now. Think about how much you can gain. Think about what you have. Because right now, you might not have what you did, but you still have something. So I want you to think about what you have. What you have, not what you had, H-A-D, but what you have, H-A-V-E. English is not my first language, but I know the difference between those two. And you can have more, but you need to figure out how to hold on to what you have and figure out how to build, rebuild, increase what you have, H-A-V-E. You need to figure it out, but you will not be able to figure it out if you continue to try and to wait for the government to give you assurance, wait for the riots to give you assurance, wait for people or your boss to give you assurance. No one, no one, no one can give you assurance of your success. No one, no one can give you that. You can. But you have to have a healthy mindset in order for you to get anything. You have to have a healthy mindset in order for you to get anything. You cannot allow what is happening around the world to destroy you mentally. If it destroys you mentally, it will destroy everything you have worked for. It will destroy who you are as a person. And when you lose who you are as a person you have nothing 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 and i am telling you that you are more than the things that you have achieved and what people think of you but you have to decide that please make that decision you have to decide that i also put here um you are not a failure because of what because of your bank account this is what i mentioned already right now i'm hearing from a lot of people even myself everything that we have saved everything that we have achieved 
right now there is so much spending we spending on food we spending on gas um the things that we was investing in before doesn't work i am like uh, you know everybody that doing stock market or bitcoin so whatever it is that you were doing a lot of these things are not working the way that they were working before because people are afraid and because of what thinking um the 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 virus is really in our head okay and we are, we need to take it out we cannot wait for a vaccine to get the virus out of our head because that is a decision that we must make to get that out of our head and that is called fear we need to face our fear by separating who we are from what we have or what we do or what they say we need to do that in order for us to be successful we need to do that um we need to understand what are values what do you value if you don't have clear what do you value you are going to continue to lose who you are make a decision write down what do i value if money is what you value you already have in a challenge because if you are not healthy mentally you are going to have a hard time getting that which you value that is money if you value happiness your family joy peace all of that if you value that then you will understand that getting a job doing things them right now that you didn't want to do before or allow your family to have um peace will allow your family to have happiness will allow you to have a peace of mind then you holding on to that value and the money is going to come because you are going to put all your strength and all your effort into making sure that your family have a smile making sure that you have peace inside of you making sure that those things in that are those basic needs are met in order for you to do the grandiose the big stuff so you understand what i'm saying i'm not telling you not to go after the money no i'm not telling you that because that would be a lie i do pay bills i do um have to get money i have to work i have to pay my credit cards which they are piled up i do but i have had to disconnect my thought from the money and connect my thought to who i am what i stand for what i value and when i had those things clear i was able to get the energy and the thought to be able to go after the money the money is not as much as i used to have it but i am able to still get it because what i value is more important than that and i'm still on my way to achieving what i want and not being afraid like i was and not panicking like i was and not comparing myself to my bank account like i was but i'm able to understand that if i did it before i'm going to do it again and again and again and again and so can you but you need to separate who you are from what you do and let me tell you that is very very important who you are is not what you do who you are is not what you do when you separate that you will be able to succeed the way you want to you will have clear goals and you will be accountable to yourself to your goals to your dreams because you separate who you are from what you do and what you want and how much money you have in your bank so 
that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm trying to do it short because I mean, like, I, I talk a lot, I talk a lot, I talk a lot. But um, I want you to be clear on that. I am a, not I am, I am Sandra Graves. Let me clear that so that you guys can clear it too. I am Sandra Graves, a loud, opinionated, passionate woman of God. And um, I love to succeed. I am passionate about success as well. I am passionate about helping people achieve their goals, but I'm also passionate about helping people understand that they are not what they have. So if you want to talk to me, if you want me to coach you, I will be happy to do that. All you have to do is connect with me at info at envivoassociates.com. Again, info at envivoassociates.com. I will be happy to give you a free consultation, but after that, I will be presenting you with the fees. However, like I said, I will be happy to give you a free 30 minutes consultation so that we can brainstorm your fears and the suffering that you're going through and the panic so that you can get your mind out of the panic mode and into the who I am mode in order for you to achieve success in the things in that you want. Again, this is Sandra Graves, software UX engineer and motivational speaker and life coach. That's what I do, not what I am. And that is the thing that we have a difficult time um, articulating because we are so used to saying, oh, I am a life coach. Oh, I am a UX engineer. Oh, I am, I am not that. This is what I do. This is what I do and I love doing it because I do it well. It's a passion of mine. But I am, when I go to sleep, I am not a life coach when I go to sleep. I am not a UX engineer when I go to sleep. But I am a mother. I am a wife. I am a child of God. I am a woman who love who she is, who have taken all these years to discover who she is. I am a black woman, yeah. I am a Hispanic woman. I am a Christian. I am a loving woman. I am a bold woman. I am an opinionated woman. I am that, that's who I choose to be. But I am not my career, I am not my job, I am not my bank account, I am not any of that. I am a woman that fails, that makes mistakes, that fears and faces her fears and step on them. So, let me leave it like that. If you want to get in touch with me, in the description box, you are going to find more information. And um, ciao, ciao for now. If you guys want to interview with me here about what I'm talking about or a different topic that have nothing to do with politics, then I'd be willing to talk to you here and in Vivo Live. Bye-bye now.